We're live. All right. Well, praise God. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home. Amen. Where we honor God, love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la iglesia al nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome also all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. So praise God. We're going to be talking about walking with Jesus daily. You know, uh, we need to remember this. We need Him on a daily basis. And uh, only time uh, we want Him there every time is when we request something. <laughs> I've got a prayer and I need it answered now, you know. And uh, that's the only time we remember. But we need to be full-time believers, not just part-time. And you've heard this many times, but part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. Yes, yes. And he don't take breaks. And he knows. And he wants to take you. The Bible says, John 10, 10, he comes to steal, steal kill, and, and destroy. destroy. And remember, we fight a spiritual battle. Yep. Amen. And the battlefield is the mind. Yep. So we got to renew, we got to feed our spirit the, the Word of God. We, we have to renew our minds with the Word of God. Otherwise, you're bombarded with negative things mm -hmm. all the time. All the time. And that's what the enemy uses. He can't force you. He can't make you do anything. But if you listen to it, if you're meditating on the negative things, you're going to fall. Mm -hmm. So we need to renew our minds to what the Word of God says. Amen. That's what's important about walking with Him, amen? We got to walk with Him on a daily basis. Right, so prepare yourselves to receive. God has, has something for you. And before I get any further, grab your sword, soldier of God, and let's make this declaration together. Amen. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the Word of God. I'm boldly confessed. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Man, you got to be bold. One of the scriptures we talk about today is about, you know, submitting yourself to God, resisting the enemy. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes you pray for people because they don't know any better. But we are to take authority. Submit yourself to yes, God. Yeah, yeah. You, you resist. You know, we yeah. go to God and say, God, take the devil away from me. Mm -hmm. Take this no, from me. No. Well, if you have relationship and you know what the word of God says, yeah. you confess the word. Yeah. You take authority. Yeah, Amen. Authority. You know, yeah, when you yeah. have, when you start your job, when you start, start a job, all of us have job responsibilities. Oh, yeah. And you need to know what those job responsibilities are. Yeah, yeah. And you got to stand on it. If you're working for somebody, you got to stand your ground and you got to say, this is what my responsibilities are. And you got to mm -hmm. enforce that. Well, with the word of God, you got to take authority and use yeah. the word because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's going to use people mm -hmm. that don't know their God. Yes. So you got to be ready and prepared. You know, I've said it many times, but don't let them drag you into right. their war into yes. their uncomfort mm -hmm. you bring them into your peace your I've, got peace. I've got peace man before I go out I've got peace over the situation amen, amen. I know there's giants waiting on me but guess what oh, I've got something for them Come on now. I've got the greater one in me yes. greater is he that's in me yes. than he that is in the world I'm going to get my attitude right before I hit the world yes. because the world is going to have you if you don't if you don't oh, take yeah. authority so you got to use that authority you have the word it's not only good for it to be in you, it's got to come out of you. Amen. You got to confess it. Woo, I'm excited. Am I excited or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walking with Jesus. That's cute. I thought I'd say, wow, this is nice. I'll just put it up. Walking with Jesus. Go to the next one, Carmen. There we go. That's better. Okay. <laughs> Walking with Him on a daily basis. Yeah. Amen. We need him on a daily basis, yeah. not just once in a while. We can't just be part time. So you go, are you a Christian? Are you a believer? Oh yeah, yeah, I go to church once in a while. You know, uh, Christmas and uh, uh, Thanksgiving Easter. <laughs> and Easter. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Wow. So listen, walking with Jesus daily. I've got a couple of nuggets I'm going to read to you, but it says walking with Jesus side by side. And we're going to be reading the footprints. If you have never read footprints, mm -hmm. you need to read them, you know, because 
sometimes God, if you're walking with him daily and all of a sudden you got two footprints in the sand, <laughs> next thing you know it's one footprint. Yep. And you say, wow, Lord, why did you leave me? Mm -hmm. He didn't leave you. He's carrying you. Yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> That's his yeah. prince. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. So walking side by side, oh, not only that, but he never leaves you nor forsakes you. That's and it. we're going to check that out. We're going to read how Hebrews uh, 13, 5 says, and you'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's with yes. you. And he'll go. And you know, if you want to be a defeated person, a uh, defeated Christian, uh, you can be so. But don't be a defeated person. Yeah. He didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. That's it. Amen. But you got to get the word in you and you got to mm -hmm. speak the word yeah. and be strong in him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. It says walking and talking with him on a daily basis. Not just once in a while. Not just when I need something. I'll call you when I need you. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> we, we can't have that attitude. That's it. But here's our first uh, scripture nugget or a scripture break. It says stir up the power. You got power in you, but, but you got to release it. Amen. So praise God. You know what? That car outside, it's got power. If you turn the right things on, you know, turn the key, put it in drive, and press on that gas. And guess what? Yes. That thing's got some power. It's going to go. Amen. Well, we, we're, we need to do the same thing. It says, stir up the power. When you feel empty, you don't feel you have the inner resources that God has called you to do. You know, if you're not renewing your mind, the world's going to bring you down and say, you know what? You're no good. You're not good enough. You're not, uh, you don't have what it takes. Mm. God's, you're not one of the ones God wants to use. He wants to use everybody else but you. Mm -hmm. And you start believing yourself, you know, and you start, well, you know, you just give up. We're not here to give up. That's the it. word of God gives clear command to handle those situations in your life. You got to stir up the gift that's inside of you. Everything you ever needed to accomplish what God has called you to do has been placed inside of you. That's it. It's in us. Remember, we find a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. But you can't do it in the flesh. You got to do it with the word of God. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. So stir up the gift that's inside of you. Amen. He's put everything in there. He's been placed in you. But only you can do the stirring up. You know? <laughs> you got to stir yourself up. You know? Nobody cares about you. Nobody cares. You know? And you're going to feel isolated. You're going to feel by yourself. Mm -hmm. And you're going to feel lonely. You're going to feel like quitting. You know? But it's in you. But you got to do the stirring up. That's you it. know? Faith is in you. Power is in you. Love is in you. Jesus is in you. Pray in the name of Jesus to stir up that gift that's within you. That's within me by faith. I'm not going to wait until I feel stirred up. I'm going to step out in faith. I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. That's Amen. It. That's it. Hallelujah. You got to stir yourself up. Mm -hmm. Nobody want You know, people, jealousy and all these things, they don't care about you. No, all they want to do is rage and mm -hmm. compete and right. compare. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you can't do that. You got to stir yourself up. So, uh, well, we're going to go over it in a few few minutes. And that's just one of them. That's our story in the power that's in you. you got the greater one in you. Yes. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Yes. And that's the spirit. That's the answer. That's the, that's, that's the devil. Stay focused to fulfill God's plan for your life. Mm -hmm. God has a plan for you. We talked about this before. God has placed you here. Mm -hmm. you're, you're a somebody. Yeah. Amen. When you get in the Word of God, you find out you're a child of God. He's yeah. your heavenly Father. Yeah. Amen. You're a somebody. Whether you're an orphan mm -hmm. and say, well, you, you never knew your parents. But God is your heavenly Father. Amen. It says stay focused to fulfill what, uh, God's plan for your life. He has a call. He's called you. He's yeah. got a call on you. Yeah. He's anointed you. He's equipped you. Amen. And he's equipped you to fulfill your mission. Amen. He's giving everything to you to fulfill whatever mission he has for you. Yes. How do I find out what my mission is? Well, you fellowship with him. Spend time with him and you'll find out. So, uh, where was I? Don't allow the distractions and busyness of life All get right. you off course. Right. Yes. Amen. Because he will. The enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. Yes. And he's going to use anything to distract yes. you. It happens all the time. You know, I was going this way, and this came and distracted me, 
and now I'm over here. Yeah. Ended up in the wrong place. Yeah. Ask yourself, what is what I'm doing moving me towards God's given destiny? Yeah. Is it my is my purpose in life? Is my purpose in life, or am I just wasting time staying busy? Mm. And you'd be surprised how how much how many times I hear this word. I'm so busy. I invite my children to church. They say, I'm so busy. I only get one day off and I spend all the time resting. Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Don't be distracted and spend the time and energy on things that are not helping you fulfill God's That's destiny. Remember, out. God's plans are blessed. Yes, and are. as you walk in his plan for your life, you will experience his abundance in everything you set your hands to do. Yes, I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. Lord, I need your strength. You got to get in that word. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you. And you, you can scratch and you can put your name right there. Yes. He's got a plan for you. You're with somebody and he's got a plan for you. Whether... It is a plan to do something small or something big. Still, if I'm doing it under him, he's going to bless you. Amen. Amen. He's, going, he's going to bless you for good. Listen to this. Psalms 20, uh, 37, 23. The steps of a good man, the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. And he delights in his ways. Woo, hallelujah. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says this. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. I'm trusting him. I'm stepping out in faith. Yeah. Amen. He says, as believers, we're to walk by faith and not by sight. That's it. That's it. Amen. Because your sight, is, there's going to be distractions if you're not focused on what God has called you to do. Amen. Woo. And know that you can do all things through Christ. Yeah. It says, commit your works to the Lord. And your thoughts will be established. Mm -hmm. Amen. But here's the key things. John says, uh, excuse me, Matthew 6, 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Oh. Right. Amen. <laughs> so I've said this a couple of past Sundays, but we gotta get off the throne, dethrone ourselves, no. and put him on the throne. Oh. Amen. <laughs> he knows he knows what's best for you. Yes. He put you here <laughs> and he knows what's good for you. He knows right. what's best for you. He knows the worst of you and loves you the most. The most. Amen. It. And you know what? The Bible says we can do all things, all through, things. through him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Man. Mm -hmm. Are those nuggets good? Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'll just read you, I'll just read you one more. And it goes like this. Facing your daily giants. Oh boy. David conquered his giant. He said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Mm -hmm. Who is this giant? The whole army was afraid of this giant. Mm -hmm. David said, knew his God. And he knew who he, who he was and, and, and his God is backing him. Yes, and you need to know the same thing. God is with you. God is backing you. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. David knew all these things. Amen. So, listen, don't let the giants of care, mm. fears, mm. sickness, troubles, and lack defeat you. Thank you. Amen. You can stay that way if you want to. Mm -hmm. But when you get the word of God in you, the Bible says the truth is going to set you free yeah. from you. all your negative thinkings I'm from this out. world and from the things of the enemy wants to bring against you. Mm -hmm. Defeating them doesn't depend on your our abilities. Jesus has already defeated them. Yes. Jesus has already defeated the devil. He's a defeated foe. But yes. you know what? He's so ignorant. You got to remind him. Yes. You're a defeated foe. Yes. You're not going to tell me what to do. Yes. I'm not going to listen to that because that's not for me. Mm -hmm. The Bible says Second uh, Corinthians 5, 17. The old is out. The new is in. I've confessed him as Amen. my Lord and Savior. Yes. And I'm believing on the new things in my life. Yes. Amen. But you know what? Your friends, the enemy, or whatever people he uses is going to remind you of your past oh, yeah. oh, and they're going to want you to mm -hmm. sit down mm -hmm. you know you're a nobody mm -hmm. god can't use you now because you've sinned mm -hmm. yeah but i confess he says if i confess it to him he'll forgive and forget yes. so i need to do the same thing right. every time he uses that against me you know what i gave it to him is his 
you you got problems with that you go talk to him amen he's not going to go there <laughs> so we got to stay in our ground submit ourselves to god resist him and he's got to go he says he's got to flee he's got yes. to go amen so whoo hallelujah facing your giants okay so here we go jesus has already defeated them you fight a spiritual battle daily not just once in a while Okay, but daily you fight this spiritual battle and God has given his church the body of Christ yes. and nobody ever told you before we are the church not this building we yes. come to we assemble ourselves in this building right. but we we are the church Amen. we are his body he's the head yes. we're the body we're and the body. who's he going to use his body yes. his church amen so he's given his uh, church spiritual weapons to use don't let any uncircumcised giant cares take your victory away from you. Listen, you got to believe it, receive it, and act on it. And another thing is, if he's forgiven you, he wants you to press on. Yes. Okay? The world is going to tell you, you need to sit because you've sinned. You need to sit because you haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. And God can't use you. So just sit down. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. You, that's not what the word of God says. Anytime somebody shares the negative things or anytime somebody shares something with you, ask them, is that in the Bible? Is that in scripture? <laughs> no, if somebody oh said so, you know, if you said God can't use you anymore, mm -hmm. that's not scriptural. Yeah. If it's not if it's not scriptural, you got to know that it's not you gotta know that's the it. word. Because if it's not scriptural, you don't have to receive it. Yeah. <laughs> that's not for me. I'm not receiving it. That's not what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand and obey what the Word of God says, yeah, yeah. not what people say. That's it. Well, I think uh, that I think it's in the Bible. <laughs> well, I know. Yeah. You got to know <laughs> that you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, it, it bless you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so our prayer should be this: yeah. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty for more of the Lord. I, uh, well. Thank you, praise team. <laughs> I'm going to say this. I was playing this yesterday and I was singing this and it blessed me. But it says, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You be hungry for a mighty move of God. Yes. Amen. Yeah. He wants to move in your life. He wants to use you to stir somebody else. He wants you. He wants to use you to bless somebody. Yes. To say something kind, to say something good, is let them know, I love them. Yes. Amen. Because they're down and out. Mm. The world is be beating them down, you know. Mm. And you're going to come and you're going to bring a word of God just yes. to say, God loves you. Yes. God gave it his son. Jesus gave his life for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's put you here to win, not to lose. Amen. Amen. Greater is he that's in you Greater. than he that's in the world. <laughs> says, fill me to overflow. My cup runneth over. Mm -hmm. Know him as you fellowship with him when you get to know him you know what he stands for and he yes. knows you know what he wants you to do Amen. and then know him do not just uh know about him but know him amen and we're gonna put psalms 23 carmen and uh footprints in a few minutes we're gonna look, look over them welcome with him and uh this is psalms 23 if you've never read it before read it now uh, go to the other one for me. And I gave everybody a, uh, a copy. And uh, you should have a copy. And it's, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's Psalms 23. And it goes like this. It says, Psalms 23, it says, the Lord is my shepherd. First thing, meaning relationship. You know what Christianity is all about? It's about having a relationship with your heavenly father. Amen. He wants to have a relationship with you. He says, I'm knocking, but you're not opening up. <laughs> I'm knocking, but nobody's opening. You know, oh no, it's him again, you know. <laughs> you can't hide from him, you know. He knows you, amen, and he wants to fellowship with you. He said, well, what the world tries to do and the enemy tries to do, he tries to isolate you. He says, nobody cares about you. And you know, people tend to want to give up after that. He says, no, I'm knocking. I want to fellowship with you. You, you're somebody. I sh he says, I, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not, I shall not want. That's a supply. 
He said, He maketh thee lie down, lie down in green pastures. That's a rest. Mm -hmm. He leadeth me besides the still water. That's refreshing. He wants the refreshment. He restoreth my soul. That's healing. He leadeth me beside the path of righteousness. That's guidance. For his name's sake. That's purpose. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. That's a testing. Mm -hmm. I will fear no evil. That's protection. For thou art with me. Faithfulness. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That's discipline. Mm -hmm. Now prepare the table uh, in the presence of my enemies. That's hope. Thou anointed my head with oil. That's consecration. Mm -hmm. My cup runneth over. That's abundance. Yeah. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. <coughs> Amen. That's a blessing. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. That's security. Mm -hmm. And forever is eternity. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Man, you ain't never seen it like that before. But every line means something. Yes. And that's what he wants. He wants, first of all, it starts off with, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. Amen. He wants relationship. And mm -hmm. matter of fact, from there we go. I just want to go to John 10, 27, Carmen. Mm -hmm. It says, my sheep hear my voice. Yes. I know them and they follow me. Amen. That's my shepherd. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. It says, my sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. He knows you. Okay? The enemy, the world's going to tell you. God don't care about you, man. He got so many things to do. He's so <laughs> preoccupied, man. He can't, he, he can't keep up with you. He can't keep up with everybody. Yeah, he can. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he can. And he knows your voice. Yes. And he knows you like no one else. He knows all about you. Yes. And loves you the most. Amen. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Uh, Matthew 11, uh, 28, 30, keep going, says, Walking with Jesus daily keeps everything else from weighing us down. What's yes. the enemy trying to do? He tries to weigh you down. Mm -hmm. You know, you run track and field, man, you, you oh, put, yes. on, put on some light clothes, yes. and you run, and when you jog, yeah, you put yes. some light clothes on. Light clothes. You don't put your armor suit on. No. <laughs> <laughs> he... The world, the enemy wants to put all these weights on you. Mm -hmm. And all these cares, all these concerns on you. So that you are not able to be available when God wants to use you. Amen. And uh, Matthew 11, 28, 30 says, Come unto me, all ye that labor in a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So you know, <laughs> you need rest. Don't call your friends and say, hey, come on over and bring the booze with you. <laughs> come on over and bring the beer with you. Or, or, or the drugs or whatever. No. You go to him. Say, no, yes. I, need, I need rest. He says, I know. I'm, God, I'm giving you rest. Yes. The world is going to use rest as something else. He <laughs> mm. says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto yourself unto your soul yes. says my for my yoke is easy and my burden is light mm -hmm. matthew 11 uh, 28 to, to 30 amen so praise god the the king james uh new king james says coming to me me in capital letters that he's talking about the lord mm -hmm. all you who labor in a heavy lightning i will give you rest take my yoke my yoke and my I am is 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 uh caps take my yoke upon you and learn from me mm -hmm. for i am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls yes. for my yoke is easy and my burden is light yes. amen the world the enemy mm -hmm. is going to try to put some weight on you mm -hmm. and put some distractions on you oh, put yeah. all kind of concerns oh, on you yes. if you let it but the Bible says to renew your mind yes. with the Word of God. Uh -huh. What does the Word of God say? Does the Word of God say this? No. He says to cast all cares on Him because He cares for you. Yes. Amen. You know what? I've got a, a mission for you. And you give me all those cares. You give me all them weights. And you press on with the mission I've given you. Amen. So, Amen. hallelujah. He's the best coach you can have. <laughs> Amen. Yes. And Philippians 3.10 says, Keep going. Philippians three ten says, "New Life Version says, I want to know Him. I want to have the same power in my life that raised Jesus from the dead. I want to understand and have a share in this, His sufferings and be Christ-like in His death." Amen. Mm -hmm. 
that same power Jesus said you can do. He says, what I did, you can do also. Amen. We got to believe that. That's scriptural. Yes. That's what the word of God says. That's it says, says. You get around negative people, they're going to say, you know, that's not for you. That's just for certain people. No, that's not what it says. Is that what it says? No. It's you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. <laughs> so don't take the negative stuff. You know, Amen. don't believe the, the lies. Amen. If it's not Amen. scriptural, yes. they're not quoting the word right. Not enough. Amen. They're not quoting the word right. <laughs> I was telling you a few minutes ago about your job responsibilities. Mm. And you go and tell your boss a certain thing, and he says, well, that's not ex quite exactly the way it is. Because somebody, <laughs> well, so-and-so told me, you know, they work here too. Well, they didn't quote the word right. Mm. <laughs> that's not part of your responsibility. Right. Amen. This is what, you go find out for yourself what it says. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm going to stand on what my job responsibilities yes. are. I'm going to stand on what the Word of God mm -hmm. says, not what somebody else says. Somebody you know what? A lot of times I give you scripture and I says, write it down. Mm -hmm. You go look for yourself. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can go in certain translations and find out what the different translations talk about. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you go find out for yourself. Yes. Woo! Hallelujah. Yes. Praise yes. God. Keep Praise going. God. Martin, this is great. <laughs> Micah. <laughs> 6.8 says, this is NIV, what does the Lord require of you? Oh boy. To act justly mm -hmm. and love and to love oh, mercy, mercy and to walk humbly oh, with the Lord. Lord. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Mm -hmm. I've got it here wrote also. He says, he has shown you, O mortal, what is good and what does the Lord require of you? Mm. To act justly to love mercy, love mercy and to walk humbly with the Lord. This is what the Amplified says. He has told you, O man, what is good? And what does the Lord require of you? Except to be just and to love and to diligently practice kindness and compassion. The Lord loves you with compassion. Amen. So, and to walk humbly with the Lord, setting aside any overblown sense of importance or self-righteousness oh, wow. wow. hallelujah yeah. Yeah. amen that's why it's so important you interpret the word right and and find out what the word of god says amen so yes. i thank you lord for your precious word yes since the, the one of the greatest problems in the church today is we've lost our hunger and our thirst for our god right. amen Woo, hallelujah. I, mm. I've said it again. I'll say it again. Mm. <laughs> We're not here to be entertained. That's the it. world is inter entertaining you. Mm. Amen. You can look at your phone. You can look at your TV. You can look at movies or, or whatever. Mm. And they're going to entertain you, you know. Mm. And we bring that attitude into the church. Oh, boy. Say, what are you going to do today, Pastor, to entertain us? <laughs> I'm not going to do anything to entertain you. The Bible says oh, he wants to empower you. Yeah. We're here to be Woo. empowered with the word of God yeah, so we yeah, can go yeah. and do. Amen. He's yeah. not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power of love, love and of a sound oh, mind. God. He wants to empower you so yes. you can go and do what he wants you to do. Right. Amen. And fear not. He's not giving us a spirit of fear. Yes. Amen. <laughs> you know what's the opposite of fear? Faith. <laughs> when you know the word, you're going to step out in faith. You're not going to step out in fear. If you're in fear, you're not going to do any stepping. Hello. You're going to stay where you are. <laughs> I can't do that. Is that what the word of God says? No, the Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Lord, I need your strength. Well, I'm stepping out in faith. And I know that I'm going to be able to do what he's called me to do. Mm -hmm. So one of the greatest problems in the, in, in the church today is... They lost their hunger for mm. and, and thirst for God. We yes. need Him. You know, with the uh, if, uh, what do you call it, the uh, COVID. Oh God! <laughs> I mean, every just by every church closed down. You know. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Uh, we, we some are still closed. Uh, some are still closed. You know, and you can't, you can't, you can't have, have that mm -hmm. spirit of fear. Amen. Yes. You got to assemble yes. yourselves because He tells us to do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together. Amen. We're here to encourage one another. Amen. Say, hey, I'm praying for you. I've seen you. I've read about you. i heard about you. You know, I'm praying for you. And encourage you. You can do all things through Christ. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Because the enemy is going to 
this world is going to bombard you each and every day to belittle you and push you down and say, hey, you know, steal, kill, destroy. Mm -hmm. That's what the world is doing, you know? amen? And they're bombarding you with negative things each and every day. And if you're not renewing your mind, you're going to fall. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our desire is to stir up the hunger and thirst for God. That you would seek Him yeah. with all your heart as you walk with Him daily. Mm -hmm. Remember, he's, he, he won't leave you nor forsake you. That's it. He's with you. He's not walking away. We walk away from Him. Away. <laughs> the problem is not with Him. The problem is with us right. staying focused mm -hmm. and doing uh -huh. what He wants us to do. Right. Amen. Yeah. So the problem is not on his part, the problem is on our part. Yes. We gotta empower ourselves to go and do and stir ourselves yes. and we can go do what he's called us to do. Amen. Second Timothy 1, 6 and 7. Let me see what you got, Courtney. Second Timothy, Timothy uh, 1, 6 and 7, New King James says, Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is where? In you. In you. So he's gifted you. So you got to take those gifts and use those yes. gifts that he's given you. It says, uh, through the laying on of hands. Mm -hmm. And seven, of course, says, for God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and have a sound mind. Yeah. Yeah. But going around confessing negative things. Remember Proverbs 18.21. Uh, Death and life are in the power uh -huh. of the tongue or the words you speak. Oh, don't go shooting. <laughs> if you got a weapon and it's loaded, <laughs> you just don't go shooting it off. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. Well, you know what? Your your tongue is more powerful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your tongue is more powerful. So you got to be careful and selective of death or life. Mm, yes. Do I want death in my life or do I want li uh, death or life in my in my in my, in my, mm -hmm. my life? Mm -hmm. Right. You choose. Mm -hmm. Nobody can choose for you. You choose. You spoke it. You're going to have what you yes. say. Gonna what so you I'm going to be more selective on the things I say. No, and no. just because somebody else is just blabbering and, and going off saying things, don't mean I have to repeat it. And no, if it pops no. in your head, don't mean it's got to pop out of your mouth. That's right. I say, wait a minute. I got to think. And I put a guard. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm, I'm not letting that out. I want to say it. I used to say it. But not anymore. Mm. I'm putting the guard there. That's good. Woo! David was a man after God's own heart. He stayed hungry and thirsty for more of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, and you know, they had even his wife was jealous of him. No. <laughs> so, you got to be careful. And people are going to. I asked the Lord, Lord, help me with my enemies. Take these enemies away from me. I started losing friends. Mm -hmm. I got born again. And the Lord brought new friends around me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they come in for a season. A short season, mid-season, or a life season. <clears throat> and you know what? You never know. And a lot of times you don't ever see them. But they'll find out mm -hmm. that they've been praying for you. Mm -hmm. You find out they've been there for you. They come visit you. They say something. You know. Say, wow. Thank you. I never knew. Well, you know what? God came and visit you. It's because... They were reaching out for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Glory, Lord. Glory, Lord. <laughs> God alone can satisfy your hunger and your thirst. Mm -hmm. Coke won't help you. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> we used to play this game. We used to take a Coke can or a bottle, shake it, stir mm -hmm. it up, and just open it on, on each other. <laughs> and it all... <laughs> <laughs> we oh, it was a mess and we thought it was funny, you know. Well, oh, that's what we need to do. We need to stir ourselves up. Oh, and man. you know what? When you get all that word in you and you're all stirred up, man, when you pop that lid, man, you yeah. open your mouth, that word is gonna shoot out, man. Yeah, the same, word of man. God, man. I, mean, I can't believe that was in me. Well, yeah. I can't believe all that coke that came out either when you shake that tail, you know. Well, praise God, the greater one is in you and he wants to come out. But you got to release it. You got to get the word in, stir yourself up, and yes. that word is going to be released. Amen. Woo, keep going. Man, these are good. <laughs> Hallelujah. John uh, chapter 7, verse 37, 38 in the Amplified. Well, let me see. Yeah, Amplified says, 
Now on the last and most important day of the feast, Jesus stood and called unto, called out in a loud voice, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Yes. And 38 says, he who believes in me, and you see the me is caps, huh. says, who adheres to, trust in, and relies on me, as the scripture has said, for his innermost beings will flow continually rivers of living water. Out of his innermost beings shall flow rivers of living water. You know, you get the word in you. <laughs> uh -huh. And it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's going to come out because the word of God says so. So, you know, quit belittling yourself and saying, you know what? I can't learn anything. Yes, can. I can't learn scripture. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. That's not what the Word of God says. The Word of God says you can mm -hmm. do all things all through Christ. Christ. So yeah. confess the right things over yourself. Amen. It's time to reteach our train, uh -huh. retrain ourselves yeah. to confess what the Word of God says, not Amen. what people say. That's and not it. what you've been saying, but confess what the Word of God's been saying or what the Word of God says. That's scriptural. If it's scriptural, it's good. You can say it. Uh -huh. Let yes. it out. <laughs> Praise God. Let me see. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He who believes in me and adheres to and trusts in and relies on me, as the scripture has said, for the, his innermost being will flow continually rivers of living water. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So minister from the overflow. Our attitude yes. should be stay hungry, stay thirsty, and walk with him. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Listen, if you have a cup, or a glass, and you fill it. When it gets full, it's going to overflow. Mm -hmm. As Christians, you know, we got to fill ourselves to overflowing. Yes. Because when you overflow, is you're going to minister to people. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can You're going to get so happy. Yeah. You don't want to. You want to. You want to share it. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you got. When you find out good news, you know what? You can hold it. You got to go, and you want to share it with somebody. Mm -hmm. When you get full of the word, you get so. Full to overflow, and you want to share it with somebody. Yeah, you know? yes. I guarantee you, you go out and you meet somebody out there that's full of the world. <laughs> they're going to overflow, and they're going to tell you something negative. Yeah, quick, and they they don't even hesitate. They'll let you know. Don't receive it. <laughs> Hallelujah. For praise God. John six thirty uh, thirty five says, and Jesus said to them, I am the bread. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me mm -hmm. shall never hunger, and he who believes in me yeah. shall never thirst. Mm -hmm. John th uh, 6 35. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is Jesus talking. Amen. Yes. So listen, he is the bread of life. And he's going to feed us. Amen. Yeah. And we're going to, he's going to fill, fill us. We're going to be full. Amen. Be full. As, as we hunger and thirst and walk with him. We draw close to him and he'll draw close to us. Amen. We're going to be stronger. So be strong in him. Amen. Praise God. Keep going. Yes, thank you, Amen. Woo. We won't finish this today. But anyway, James 4, 7 and 8 says in New King James, Therefore submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he'll feel you from you. Right. You resist the devil. Yes. yes. Amen. He's so ignorant, he'll just keep coming. And uh, saying the same things over and over. He can't say anything new. There's nothing new about him. No. Amen. No. It's the word of God. The gospel is good news. Yes. Amen. These are good news. And this is what, what his word says. Mm -hmm. We just got to remind him you're a defeated foe. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, get under my feet. Mm -hmm. Or you can tell him go to hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's his home. <laughs> oh, God. Says draw, draw near to God and what? And he will draw near to us. Amen. Sometimes we feel so lonely, by isolated by ourselves. I say, wait a minute. It's not what the Word of God says. He's with me. He's with me. The Bible says our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. So He's not leaving you or forsaking you. That's it. We need to renew our minds so yes. we start thinking and say, wait a minute. He's with me. He never leaves me nor forsakes me. So start fellowshipping with him. Yeah. Amen. So that you know the greater one is in me. He's yeah. here with me. Amen. He's never left you. The enemy wants you to think that way. So 
Uh, draw near to God, you'll draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be double-minded. Mm -hmm. Amen. We, Bible says you have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. So be careful and know if you want the mind of Christ, then get the word in you. Yes. And you start thinking the way he thinks. That's it. Amen. And quit thinking the way the world Praise thinks. God. <laughs> Praise God. When you know how much God loves you, we will get a revelation of the Father's love for us. Yes. And uh, I, I showed the church earlier. I have a little cross here that I saw. And it says, you cannot, you can't out love God. That's it. Man, this is good. Amen. We need to write this down, mm -hmm. you know, and have it where you can see it, you know. You cannot out love God. And it tells us in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, mm -hmm. that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Praise and God. Jesus went to the cross. Yes. He didn't stop. Jesus went to the cross and allowed himself to be sacrificed. Uh -huh. But he, before he gave himself back to the Father, he says, Father, forgive him. Yeah. Amen. So you can't mm -hmm. outlove him. Amen. But we can be Christ like. Yes. Be imitators. Yes. Amen. Be imitators of Christ. Amen. Woo. Praise God. We try to copy every uh, hero, worldly hero. <laughs> Why don't we imitate the best role model? Yes. And that's Jesus yes. Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. When you hunger and thirst, seek love and serve Him. Satan tries to give a false discernment of, of who God is. Mm -hmm. So we won't seek Him. So send distractions to stop <clears throat> the hunger and the thirst. He puts all kinds of distractions our way. Mm -hmm. So we need to know to say, well, that's not for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to press on. Amen. Press on. Let him let him love you and transform you Amen. as you give him your best. Yes. They, God gave his best. Jesus gave his best. You give him your best. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So praise yes. God. We're going to stop here. Well, I gotta I gotta tell you this one. <laughs> we gotta stop being leaky Christians. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Anybody ever called you that? Leaky <laughs> meaning we let the word out. Oh. We just leak, leak out, you know. And yeah. you can't be of any good. You know, if you're thirsty and you got a, 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 a glass and that glass leaked out, you ain't got nothing to drink. Yeah. Right. Amen. So as Christians, we got to stay full. Yeah. To, to overflowing. But if you let, you know, when you don't have fellowship with him, you start leaking out. Right. You start leaking out. And next thing you know is you're going to be like the world. And you're going to start confessing worldly things and negative things instead of positive things. Amen. Faithful things. You know, uh, faith-filled words, speaking faith-filled words instead of negative things. Mm -hmm. So we got to stay full and not be leaky Christians. Amen. It says, we don't retain. What, what's a, we don't retain. What's retain mean? means we don't keep, we don't hold, we don't maintain, we don't remember, and we don't recall the word. Always leaking out. Right. We got to stay full. If you're thirsty, you got to fill that cup up. Mm -hmm. You're thirsty for the things of God. Mm -hmm. You got to keep yourself filled. Amen. You want God to use you? <laughs> you want Him to use you? Well, you got to stay filled. Mm -hmm. And be available. Yes. If you're filled, you, you're available. Yes. And He knows. <laughs> Amen. And you're available. He's going to say, do this, do that, go here, go there. You know why he's sending you? Because you're available and because you're full. Amen. And he knows that he can count on you. We're being faithful. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Glory. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Again, uh, Proverbs 18, 21 says, <laughs> leaky Christians speaking wrong words death and life and it starts off the scripture starts off with death and life are in the power of the words you speak mm -hmm. death and life are in, in the power of the tongue so that's how powerful the tongue is it's powerful so we got to control it you have to control it amen yeah. Woo! hallelujah praise god well we're gonna stop here 
and uh, we'll continue with number two tomorrow. Uh, next, next Sunday. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Welcome with him daily, too, for next week. Amen. So, those of you watching, those of you listening, know that you are. God loves you. He wants to walk with you daily. All we need to do is we got to get in right fellowship with Him. That meaning yeah. that you've been following the world too long now. All you need to do is say, Lord, come in my come in my life, be my Lord and Savior. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come in my life. I repent. I've sinned against you. Come in my life and be my Lord and my Savior. And He's going to start using you. Amen. Forget about the past. He says new things now. Amen. He wants to use you. You start opening the word and doing and reading it and meditating on the word. Amen. So let's remember that. So, and if you have sickness in your body, it's not for you. Say sickness, leave in Jesus' name. By Jesus' stripes, I am healed from head yes. to toe. And I receive no malfunctions in my body. I, I speak to my body and I command it to function the way God created it to function. And that is perfect. Amen. So, I speak healing over my body in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. And then give it eight time to give. Go to our website. Yeah. It should be on your screen there. It says uh, NBCBigBand.com. Hit, hit that donate button. And uh, NBC PO Box, if you're mailing it, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And for Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God loves you and we love you. Amen. And He wants you, He wants to walk with you daily. Amen. Amen. Just get yourself right with Him and start walking with Him. Amen. Because He wants to walk with you. Praise God. Amen.